Why is it crucial to comprehend the side effects of first-line anti-TB medications? The answer is simple. Knowledge empowers one to manage potential side effects more effectively, leading to better health outcomes. First-line anti-TB medications, including isoniazid, rifampin, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide, are the standard treatment for tuberculosis. However, like all medications, they can come with side effects. Isoniazid, for instance, can cause peripheral neuropathy, a condition that results in numbness and tingling in the hands and feet. This side effect can be mitigated by taking a vitamin B6 supplement alongside the medication. Hepatotoxicity, another potential side effect of isoniazid, can lead to liver damage. Regular liver function tests and discontinuing the drug if signs of liver damage appear are crucial in managing this side effect. Rifampin, on the other hand, can cause a harmless discoloration of bodily fluids, turning them orange. However, more severe side effects such as hepatotoxicity and a flu-like syndrome may occur. Hepatotoxicity is managed similarly to isoniazid, while a flu-like syndrome can be handled by taking the medication with food or switching to a different medication if the symptoms persist. Ethambutol, another first-line anti-TB drug, can potentially cause optic neuritis, resulting in blurred or changed vision. Regular eye exams can help monitor and manage this side effect. If optic neuritis does occur, discontinuation of the drug is often the best course of action. Finally, pyrazinamide may cause hepatotoxicity and hyperuricemia, which leads to excess uric acid in the blood. Liver function tests are important for monitoring hepatotoxicity, and if hyperuricemia occurs, discontinuing the drug may be necessary. To summarize, understanding the side effects of first-line anti-TB medications is vital. Peripheral neuropathy from isoniazid can be managed with vitamin B6 supplements. Hepatotoxicity, a potential side effect of isoniazid, rifampin and pyrazinamide, requires regular liver function tests and potential discontinuation of the medication. Rifampin may cause a harmless discoloration of bodily fluids and a flu-like syndrome managed by taking the medication with food or switching drugs if necessary. Ethambutol can lead to optic neuritis managed through regular eye exams and potential discontinuation of the medication. Lastly, pyrazinamide may cause hyperuricemia, which may necessitate discontinuation of the drug. By knowing these side effects and their corresponding treatment options, Patients and healthcare providers can work together to ensure the most effective and comfortable treatment possible. After all, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to one's health.